People here are asking us at Mobile World Congress, what's the impact of AI on optical transport networks? And if you've been at the show here, there's AI is the complete buzz. Everyone's talking about AI. But what does that mean for an optical transport network? And what does it mean for an optical transport networking vendor like Infineera? So thinking about it as a from an optical networking perspective, AI is a huge bandwidth driver uh, that we see coming along in the not too distant future. Today, AI is driving massive bandwidth inside the data center. We anticipate that in the not too distant future, that's going to spill out into the inter data center networks, which means we're going to see a big wave of traffic hitting the networks that we're building for network operators. These networks of today are generate are running on either transponder based products or they're based on using pluggable optics like these. These are 400 gig plugs. We have 800 gig plugs coming along the line in around the sort of 12 month time frame. And we really see AI as being a big, big bandwidth driver to drive that move to 800 gig in pluggable technology. The reason for that is that AI itself obviously needs a lot of processing inside the data center, but it also needs a huge data lake of information to build and understand and build to make the right decisions uh, around the, uh, the information pool that it has. And it, because AI isn't aware, it doesn't really you know, it can correlate data together, but it doesn't really know, it doesn't have the same insight that a human brain has to correlate things and think, is that right or isn't it right? So to, to have a good response for AI, you need a very, very large pool of very good, high quality data to make your, uh, your, uh, your learning and decisions from. So this is going to drive AI, or well, AI is going to drive a higher volume of traffic in data center networks or the data center interconnect networks. But we also have the opportunity to use AI or really machine learning in that sense of awareness that I just, I just talked about to help network operators optimize the networks they build and to help them understand and manage their networks in the environments we find ourselves today where a lot of network operators struggle to have the manpower or woman power, people power, to actually run their networks. So if we can use machine learning to help uh, operators predict what's going to happen in the network, by looking at the data that we can generate from our optical transport platforms. We can help operators to predict what's going to happen. We can then use that information to guide network maintenance and network operation people to give them options for how they may choose to uh, address that particular concern that might be coming down the track, which means we can make people more efficient, but it also means you can lift everybody up to the same level as the, you know, the, the, uh, the most proficient uh, network maintenance or network operation person that a, that a team might have. So it enables us to uh, help people run networks, which in the end will help the end experience for, for end users, and AI is also going to be a big driver of bandwidth itself.